Next, let's talk uh, briefly here about what a thoracic adjustment is. So the part of the thoracic spine is basically your middle back, and it's comprised of 12 different vertebrae. So the way we are going to do that, we'll actually count down through the cervical spine. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So here's T1 of your first thoracic. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Now typically you're going to have your rib cage also surrounding both sides of this area. And again, as we would with the cervical or the lumbar spine, the neck or the low back, we're looking for different types of misalignment in this area. So typically in the thoracic spine, it, it's more stable because it has a rib cage kind of supporting it. So typically, unless someone's really had a problem, we're not going to see great sweeping thoracic curvature, lateral bending, or scoliosis. Um, but we do typically are going to see some kinds of rotation, twisting, and turning. So again, our goal as chiropractors in terms of performing an adjustment is to find those areas of misalignment. And then we're going to go in there and again direct uh, high velocity, low impact force into these areas, whether by hand or by instrument, to correct that position, restore that normal function via the nervous system.